Good afternoon. Painting something a little bit different today. I'm on my fall break, so I thought nothing more fall than some squash and fall florals. So that's what I'm gonna try and do today. So I've got my quick outline of a squash there. I'll make another one over here. Hi, Frankie. Okay, so I'm gonna let these dry off a little bit and then I'll be working on the florals, come back at another layer. We'll see how this goes. Yes, I'm gonna work on some squash and florals. Very, very loose florals here, and then hopefully some greenery will liven them up a bit. I just wanted some purple to pop against the squash color. I think it's time to add some leaves I'm going to use my buckthorn berry my absolute favorite green from Boulder Colors
sounds fun, Frankie. I'm not quite uh, ready to look at another poinsettia. Um, still, still thinking about my cards from last year, actually, where I, I painted a lot. I'll get there soon though. Maybe Tracy and I need another challenge. some black to the center of these flowers. I think it's time for some more orange stripes on them. So, I might have to mix what I'm thinking of. Frank, you have an idea about doing a custom five by seven painting for a random subscriber every month and so you've got two that's really cool that's a really neat idea where do they subscribe to you on TikTok. Nice. So you started with a lilacs, very nice. Did you like your second try at them better? Very nice.
Jesse, paint time. Yes, it is. It was paint time twice today, actually. Well, Frankie, sometimes when you go with it, that's that's when the magic really happens. We know that. Gorgeous. Oh, well, that pun made this all worth it. Thank you. It's still a little bit too wet here to do details, so I'm going to lay off of that one for a little bit. Hi, the Blooming Fairy. Or Chrissy, as Frankie says. Yes. <laughs> That's helpful. Thanks. I don't know if I love them yet. <laughs> Working on it. Actually, Jesse, it's flowers for fun. I know they, they do have blossoms, but um, I wanted them to be purple for this. I wanted some contrast there. And Frankie, that's awesome. So that's why you're doing that tonight, the poinsettia. I think, Jesse, these are yellow. Oh, yes, Carly, I'm, I'm not quite done yet. I've got a lot to go through here. I've got layers for my squash to give them some texture and and color. I'm going to ping pong back and forth. Uh, vines is a great idea though. <laughs> Too kind over there, Jesse. Uh, and I must say that this color palette was Let's see, mostly bolder colors, right? I'm using two of her collections here. The Ultimate Vampire Protection Palette and Fantastic Plants. So all these yummy earthy colors are made from plants and food waste. You know, Frankie, I remember that one. I remember when you worked on that earlier. I think it was for your, your 30 days floral challenge. I remember that. So now you get to work on it as a focal point. That's nice. Still very loose style here. I don't want to get too realistic out of my comfort zone here, just for fun. Yeah, I actually have a squash in front of me here as a reference, and I don't want to start thinking, oh, this color is not quite right or anything like that. It's just for fun. I do want to give it that striped orange look and and it's spun shape but not going overboard I want to keep it light and fun I actually did do squashes that were very realistic a couple years ago I was following Allison Lionheart she had a couple of really good tutorials on YouTube. So if you are into that and, and want to paint very realistic squash, 
go look her up. And break it up with some added texture so it's not too smooth. <laughs> yes. My, my squash buddies are right here. Hold on, let me show you. Look at that. <laughs> they will not be made into squash soup. Um, let's see. A bit more dots and dabs. Yes, I think I need some more details on the purple flowers. So I have two slightly different purples. So I'm going to try and remember which was which. Probably not the best brush for this. Oh yes, I have to go back and add details to the stem, so thank you for picking that up for me, Frankie. I will, I'll try and remember to go back. Okay. This is not doing exactly what I wanted it to do, so we're gonna just paint over that and let that dry off a bit. And this one said no to details right now, and that's fine. Squiggle there, some squiggles down. And then it should be dark around the base of that. Ah, thank you, Jesse. I was thinking of patterns earlier. That's one of the challenges for this month's Aloha Watercolors Limited Color Palette Challenge. They're doing lots with patterns. So it's been on my mind. So we've got some darkness on the top. Maybe we'll give some darkness on the bottom. A little squash butt here. Jesse, your design is so, I don't know the word for the style, but it reminds me of a museum gift shop items. That is such an amazing compliment. <laughs> I adore museums, and the gift shop is always one of the best places. <laughs> okay, so let me give it just some fun little details here. I'll be a little bit quicker about it. And so that slow, very intentional one at the bottom that just didn't want to happen. There we go. I wanna... I... The idea of blending them out a little bit is calling to me, but I'm just gonna go fast here. This texture is just too much to work with right now. So, ah, Jesse, thank you. Okay. Yeah, 
God, these little squashes are adorable. I'm glad I did them today. Sun is going in. Thank you, Frankie. I do want to see them. I see it, yeah. Um, I'll show you what else I did to that painting from earlier. Since you were you were on for that, Frankie, I added just a couple little details to the landscape that's in my in my vintage book there. So that's how I'll end this because I had a lot of fun with this one. I'm twisting it all around for you. I'm sorry. It helps me be quick about my painting here. I usually don't add so many layers. Right, that these are all lake pigments coming from plants. There's something botanical about them, right? It's not vivid or neon, exactly. Um, although, although Boulder Colors is a color wizard and she does have some pretty eye-popping colors like this green, um, that's pretty stunning. But you're right, it's not like... Um, like this set of colors over here, right? Not popping, popping out at you. Yeah, I agree with that. Something very natural. You made salt from the ocean this week? Oh my gosh, that sounds incredible. Um, something like a lab that I could do with my students actually can talk about concentration, super saturated solutions. There's a lot of chemistry that goes on in there. Okay, I think I, I think I've added all the details I want to add there. So thank you for joining me for this one. Very outside my comfort zone, very fun and different. Let me grab the book from earlier. All right, so this was the little mushroom in the one corner. Jesse, you said storm salt. We had to go to a dock because the surf was too intense. Wow. Oh, that must be a really cool experience, though. And so here you can see the gold catching the light. Yeah, little bits of gold and I made some of the flowers bigger and I really like it now. Thanks, Frankie. Thanks, Jesse. Yeah, I do want to do more landscapes like this, sort of the one layer and done, even though this is this is more than one layer, but you get what I mean, not too detailed, very loose. Oh my gosh, I thank you for pointing that one out, Jesse. Uh, butternut, miss the next one. <laughs> Frankie, I almost missed the, the pun because you said so funny I had to go and look at it. So there we go, um, painting inspired by nature. Jesse, I think that's called an enhancement. <laughs> um, I'll be back tomorrow. I'll have more paintings. Probably not squash related, but I did do these leaves 
Uh, recently I did both of them here and I kind of want to just paint lots of leaves. So maybe one page in my book, I'll find a page that's all about leaves and, and we'll do some nice leaf therapy together. And thank you, Jesse. I had a great day. My first day off this year it was fantastic. I feel very well rested and it was great to catch you today. It's been a while. So hope things are great and that I see you again soon. Bye, everyone.